Are you trying to prepare yourself for nursing school and you're not really sure where to start? Maybe you've been accepted into a nursing program and you're super excited, but you have no idea what you can do to prepare yourself in the meantime. Well, I've got you covered. Today, I'm sharing a few suggestions on what new nursing students can do to prepare for their very first year in nursing school. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. First things first, I want to extend my congratulations for getting into nursing school. That is a huge, huge accomplishment in itself and one that you should feel very, very proud of. Now, as you prepare to embark on that next chapter, there are a few myths or misconceptions you probably have heard or read or seen on social media about nursing school. Yes, it will be hard. Yes, some of it will be online. Yes, it will challenge you. But you know what? it will also change you. In fact, I made it simple for you. I've actually created a custom prep checklist for first year nursing students. Now this checklist has a few to do's and activities for students to consider before they embark on their new nursing program. Stay until the end of this video so I can tell you where you can download it for free. So if you're excited and anxiously waiting to start your nursing program, let's go through a few of my nursing professor approved tips to get you feeling confident, organized, and ready for the amazing journey ahead. Let's get into it. Tip number one, have a positive attitude and mindset. Just like anything in life, as you prepare yourself to do something hard, it also requires you to prepare your attitude and your mindset. What's that saying again? Mind over matter. Remember, successful nursing students come in with a positive attitude, and here's the kicker. They can maintain it, even when things don't go according to plan. Because let me tell you, things will and can go wrong. Unexpected detours will occur when you're in nursing school, so things like maybe you missed a class, maybe you were ill, maybe you did poorly on an assignment, or maybe you just don't get along with your clinical instructor. Whatever it is, Start to prepare your attitude and mind. Set those expectations up in advance and ask yourself, how can I maintain a positive attitude and perspective throughout nursing school? You know what I did? I wrote affirmations in my agenda at the time. Maybe I'm dating myself here, but I used to write a quote each week on a little sticky note, and that way I would see it any time I opened my agenda. It would say things like, go get it girl, or keep focused on the goal, uh, or uh, whatever you do, talk yourself into the right mindset and attitude to do it. As you prepare for nursing school, begin to think about how you're going to cope, how you're going to adapt, how you're going to pivot, even and when unexpected situations arise. Tip number two, start to organize other life priorities. Students nowadays are busier than ever before. You've got other jobs, maybe kids, partners, a whole lot is going on in your life. So as you prepare for nursing school, you're going to have to think about practical things like childcare, transportation, the number of hours you can spend at your job or even doing volunteer work. The reality is you are going to have to rearrange some other things and other life priorities. Now, when I went to nursing school, I also played varsity basketball. And so I had to make living and transportation arrangements so I could attend all my practices and games, plus attend all those early morning classes. Whether it's organizing who's cooking dinner during the weekdays when you're in class or determining the number of hours you can work at your part-time job or even telling your social circles or significant others how your availability will change, these are aspects and responsibilities in your life that are going to change during nursing school. So start having those important conversations with the people involved so that you can make them aware of what will be happening and you can set some realistic expectations with them. 
Let others know what you're up against and hopefully they'll do what they can to support you. Tip number three, connect with others. Your success in nursing school does not happen on your own. You're going to need and want to have others to just cheer you on or guide you or support you and point you in the right direction. And that's why connecting with others is so important. Now, everyone has different comfort levels and preferences for how they connect and interact with others. Maybe you'd prefer to join an online nursing forum or a Facebook group, or perhaps you're into podcasts and blogs you can read and comment uh, and, ans- and get questions and answers from experienced nurses. Some of you might even prefer the good old fashioned in-person vibes and interaction. If you're like me, you enjoy a bit of everything. Now the point is start to connect with others online or in person so you can begin to share experiences, tips, and valuable advice. Now, of course, there will be more opportunities to connect with others once you start school. You'll be able to meet and study and work with your classmates, but in the meantime, reach out to others online who who are also about to start nursing school too, or connect with someone online from your nursing program and ask if they'd be willing to teach you the ropes or show you the ropes or let you in on some valuable tips for your first year in nursing school. The last tip I wanna share with you is an obvious one. Prepare for your orientation day. This is a big day for you. Now, during orientation, you get to interact with other students in your cohort. You get to ask questions about the first day and get an overall idea of the program. The last thing you want is to show up and not be prepared. So here are a few strategies you can use to prepare for your orientation. Strategy number one, get to know the campus and surrounding area. Go onto your school's website and find a map of the campus, especially if you're required to attend an in-person orientation. Other important places to make note of may include things like the library, the student center, any study spaces or class locations, or maybe where the computer lab is, and of course, coffee shops, right? And food spots, duh. Another part of preparing for your orientation day is reviewing your class schedule in advance. Typically, your class schedule is made in advance before orientation, and it should be available online on your learning management system. Take a look and pay close attention to the times and locations of each of your classes so you know where you need to be and when. Plus, have a look at your professors. Some students don't do this at all, but getting familiar with who is going to be grading and marking you doesn't hurt, right? If you're really into it, you may even dig a little deeper and do some research on your professors. Now, I'm not encouraging you to stalk them on Facebook or anything, but you may want to look them up on the program website and read their bio. Plus, it helps you put a face to the name, so when you walk into class for the first time, things don't seem so unfamiliar. Pretty easy and simple steps, right? My advice for first-year nursing students is to take this time to prepare by developing a positive attitude and mindset, especially because nursing school has so many ups and downs, organizing other life priorities, whether it's life at home with kids or a part-time job, connecting with others through social media, blogs, forums, even YouTube communities like this, and preparing for the big orientation date. And this includes things like getting to know your campus, your class times and locations, and familiarizing yourself with your professors. Before you start your program, soak in that time with family, friends, and loved ones, because this is the calm before the storm. In other words, your world is about to get crazy, in a good way, of course. Now, as I promised, if you'd like to get your hands on a simple checklist that will walk you through some practical steps for preparing for nursing school, click on the link below in the description box. Follow the instructions and we'll email it to you for free. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that.